Video 6, Understanding the Evidence for CBD. Now I'll review the studies supporting the use of CBD as a medication. The strongest support for the medical use of CBD is childhood epilepsy, reducing seizures caused by Dravet syndrome or Lennox-Gastaut syndrome. In a large randomized placebo-controlled trial that included treatment-resistant children, CBD, additional to their ongoing medication regimen, administered at 20 milligrams per kilogram for 14 weeks, reduced seizure frequency by 50% and was superior to placebo. When it comes to schizophrenia, there is some early evidence that CBD might help improve the positive symptoms in this disorder. One study tested CBD in 98 participants with schizophrenia. All subjects were on active medication for schizophrenia, but still had positive symptoms. Patients were randomized to 1,000 milligrams a day versus placebo. The results showed that CBD decreased ratings of psychosis over placebo. Another study compared CBD, dosed at 800 milligrams a day, to amisulpiride for four weeks and showed that both medications reduced the positive symptoms of schizophrenia. However, a third study compared CBD, dosed at 600 milligrams a day, to placebo and did not show a difference between these two groups. Thus, the data in schizophrenia is mixed with some promising findings but with modest effects and needs replication. There's also limited evidence looking at CBD for the treatment of other psychiatric disorders. I'll begin with social anxiety disorder. A small study was performed in social anxiety disorder with CBD, dosed at 600 milligrams compared to placebo. The results showed that CBD reduced the anxiety associated with a stressful task, which was public speaking in this study. So this indicates that CBD might be helpful with a social anxiety disorder, but a larger study with regular dosing is needed. When it comes to opioid use disorder, there was one study that was done testing two doses of CBD, 400 and 800 milligrams, given for three days. The results show that there was a reduction in Q-induced craving for heroin and a reduction in anxiety compared to placebo. CBD has also been tested for cannabis use disorder, and a study looked at CBD versus placebo as a treatment for cannabis use disorder. The results show that CBD dosed at 400 milligrams increased abstinence from cannabis by 0.48 days per week and that a CBD dose of 800 milligrams decreased cannabis use by 0.27 days per week compared to placebo. In other words, CBD did have a significant effect, but this effect was relatively moderate to small and did not decrease cannabis use by more than one day per week. I'll review the key points here. The strongest evidence for CBD is reducing seizures in childhood epilepsy. CBD might help with symptoms of schizophrenia, especially the positive symptoms of psychosis. There is some evidence that CBD may be helpful for social anxiety disorder, opioid use disorder, and cannabis use disorder. However, there is a need to replicate these studies and to look at potential effects in much larger studies.